Hey everyone, Red here, and today's build is for our very own Juiced Up Blighty Boy, and it is a stealth build. Today's perks are as follows. Tinkerer, once a generator is repaired to 70%, the killer receives a loud notification and is granted undetectable for 16 seconds. Dark Devotion, upon hitting the obsession with a basic attack, the killer will be granted undetectable for 30 seconds and the survivor will instead emit a 32 meter tear radius around them for the duration. Trail of Torment, after kicking a generator, the killer will be granted undetectable until the gen stops regressing or until the killer injures a survivor. Save the best for last. Whenever you hit a non-obsession survivor, gain a token. Every token reduces a successful hit cooldown by 5%. This stacks to a max of 8 tokens, or 40%. For add-ons, the only important one to bring for this build is Vigo's Journal, which will grant Blight undetectable while he is rushing. For the other add-on, take whatever one you would prefer to. And that's it for today's build breakdown. As always, if you enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and a subscribe to keep up with future content. Alright, let's go ahead and kill ourselves some survivors of Blight cosplaying as Michael Myers. Okay, Groney Storehouse. I can do it. I played Macmillan, but Storehouse ain't too bad. At least not for Blight. Because he can travel so much distance so quickly. And we're going for a silent build. That's all based around Save the Best for Last being our only real value that we can kind of gain over time. We also have Undetectable while we are charging here. And now they run. We gave him some distance there, not too bad. If I could have made that curve a little bit better, it would have been nice. Ooh, they have that. Feels bad. Nice. Okay. What else do we have here? Okay, I can do that. Easy peasy. We'll go ahead, we'll come here. We will kick this real quick. Or I should say, beat it with our cane. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. Start getting some sacks if we can. We have Trail of Torment. It looks like they already hopped back off of it. Yep. Hiya. Nice head hard. 10 out of 10. Alright, we have Dark Devotion on her. So we can kind of leave her for just a split second. There you are. Hey, buddy. Yeah, thank you. Now, with this build, we're definitely not going to have a lot of time. So, if the survivors are quick... Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, let's get rid of this stuff now. I like it. Stacks for days. Take over the Nancy real quick. Hey, Nancy. How you doing? We have to definitely slug because we don't really have a lot of slowdown. Even if it costs us a stack, that's fine. Dark Devotion again. Easy peasy. Clean it up. Yeah, you guys don't know where I'm at ever. I love it. Dark Devotion's over there on her. We can come here and very quickly put these guys in basement. We're definitely going to abuse basement if we can. Just because, it's you know, you have to, right? You got two, three survivors down by basement? Hell yeah. Let's see if maybe Jay comes over here. It'd be a really quick end. That'd be awesome. Looks like he might head out for a bit. He might stay away. He should be going for the one survivor who's downed right now, which is our obsession. Because he had plenty of time to do so. Looks like she crawled off, though. Oh, he's going for the save. Yeah, I can't get it. I was trying to aim where I get the lethal rush in there, but I just couldn't. Nice. Give me my stacks. I oh, have decisive. That's cool. 
I can eat decisive real quick. Why not? Oh, yeah, head on. Never mind. I'm a dirty liar. Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> Wait, do you have decisive? You have head on. You have to have decisive, right? Go save the person if you have decisive. Hey, no decisive. Look at that, dude. Just blight, man. Oh, wait, we have an Unbreakable Gamer? Hello? How much time can you buy with Unbreakable? Oh, so close. Does this make me toxic? All the slugs? It might. Now, does Red care? No, not really. Is Red having a fun time? Yes. Yes, he is. Oh, no. Well, damn. Fine, we'll let him have it. Played well. He should be going and picking up the other person. Like, right now. That should be his goal. There you go. Like, that was a smart goal originally. The one person killed themselves on hook. This is a game over anyways, because he's going to kill themselves on hook. They're so upset. I love it. Every second of it. Alright. They might heal up. It looks like that's what they're doing. I had to turn that. Just to make sure she couldn't get that way. Ooh, you guys are both in danger though. Dark Devotion again. So we can ignore her for a second. Come over this way instead. He's just healing up. No clue that we're there. Feels good. Let's go ahead and pick up and hook. Let's be nice. I've already kind of brutalized these guys a little bit too much, I think, this round. Uh, get out of here. What are you doing? Game Arena. Do, 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 do. Nice dead hard. Now your dead house is gone, though. What do you do? Do I kind of hit off that maybe that tree? No. It was worth a try, though. We gotta chase this one normal. That's okay. We'll put her down just like that. I can't tell if that's just because all the survivors kind of got altruistic really, really quickly. Or if it was more just because they had no idea where I was the whole time. Either way, it was awesome. I loved it. Can't wait to get into the next game with it. I had a lot of fun. Let's see what rank everyone is. But other than that, hell yeah. A great first game. Yeah, we're going to get brutal because we slugged pretty much everybody there. We didn't get enough hooks. GG's it up. I mean, everyone deep there, so... <laughs> All right, guys, let's go ahead and just move into the next game. That was awesome. Ooh, the game. Not exactly the map I'd want to go for when playing Blight, but maybe the undetectable status will allow us to get a lot more free stuff. This map is pretty notorious for having really strong loops, so we're going to have to be a little careful. We're going to want to find a chase pretty quickly, which I think we will find upstairs. And we already found scratch marks, so this is good. We're going to go here. Oh, I messed it up. That's right. She has to drop this pallet. She doesn't. She takes one free hit. Whoa, that was a weird little thought. I guess she doesn't take a free hit. I thought she would take more of a little stun there, but she didn't. Feels weird. Okay. Now nah, that's awkward as hell. We get a free hit, but it might be a waste of time. On the bright side, this is not the obsession, so we'll get some save the best for last stacks. See where she's heading off to? Mm, can't get. Oh, so close, too. It was really close. Alright, one more chase around here. She'll drop this. We get rid of this for later because it's a fucking god loop and a half. We can't catch her before she gets up here, but we can pressure her down that way at least. Okay. Then we just gotta leave. That was actually probably too much time in general. Yeah. 
Nice. We'll break this for now. We're going to use Trail of Torment here. And then we're going to look to maybe cut her off. Or at least get over here to the other generators. We're not working on this one. Well, we found her again, which is kind of good. But we got behind her, which is bad. Nice. Someone just went back and got on that generator. No, we, we got hit. That's what caught, cut off trail. Never mind. Because we hit, our trail actually stops, so we're no longer undetectable. But that's alright. We got ourselves a nice little down. They haven't pressured out the gens too much yet, so that's a good thing. There we go. There's the first one. There's the second one. Never mind. They were working on gens. I'm a liar. Can I get around? Oh, God. I should have uh, canceled that sooner. Uh, we can't play around this too much. Okay. Yeah, we knew they were going to finish that one. There's not much I can do about that. He messed that up horribly. We're going to come in here. We're actually going to hit this before Trail of Torment comes off cooldown. Then we can get a nice little pick up here. Mm -mm -mm. Got three stacks. We have another survivor who's in this area. Hey, what's up? That was brave. Nice. I managed to turn just around that enough where it wasn't too much of a big deal. And we save ourselves, I guess, one stack. So, give or take. Scratch mark still over here. Nothing else. That was really brave. I mean, again, really brave. Someone's working on a giant above us, it sounds like. And then they hopped off because I don't hear them working on it no more. They're working on the one above us now, though. Which is that one. Hello. Thank you. Thank you for staying still. We're never going to get those turns. What we can do, though, is while we're doing this... Don't want to break this chase. I actually want to get rid of this loop real quick. I can't get over there in time. Well, that's two, though. That's not good. Uh, Break this. We might have to force them to lose a player here, honestly. Just so we can get down the stairs real quick. Does she go for the save? Did I make a mistake? I might have made a mistake. Yeah, we made a slight mistake there. That's alright. Second hook. We might lose the generator above. Gens are going to fly with this build, so you kind of have to be ready for that. Scratch marks. They kind of stop. He's working on it. If I can turn this corner quick enough. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Oh, I couldn't make that turn. Can I block her out? We can do that. And then we can actually come over here since we have Dark Devotion and we're actually undetectable right now. She'd make the fall. We're just chasing her right behind her real quick. Oh, what? Feels good for me. We get rid of a nice pallet. We lose one more gem, but they're going to go down a player. Nice. I don't think she was expecting it. Which is great. It would be better if she would have dropped the pallet, though. Take her to the basement. We can't stay at the basement and protect it like we could in the last game, but that's all right. Now it's just a matter of finding out what gen they're on. Maybe look for a gen that has some progress to it so I can get trail. Right here has some progress. This is good, and it looks like there was a survivor nearby not too long ago. They dropped down the hole. We can actually follow this up pretty nicely here. Oh, wait. Actually, 
Come here. That was brave. Not sure why you would do that. Unless for some reason you thought I was going to miss the turn there. Oh, we can definitely hook here. We just got to get a hook right away. They're probably going to heal up in the basement since I'm so far away from it. We managed to save some stacks, which is really good. I want to double check all the gens here real quick. They're healing, so I'm not too worried. Which means they're healing. They're coming from that angle. They can come either across here. There it is. But she didn't. Con yeah, she did. She did continue this way. Good. Oh, I couldn't hit that turn. I knew she was doing it too. Let's break this. This is a pretty strong pallet. I mean, along with every other strong pallet in this map. <laughs> How do I want to break around here? I'm going to go back to the hook real quick. Yeah, there it is. I can't make that turn, but that's alright. We get ourselves a free hit here. We'll follow this for a split second. How do I want to turn this? Ah, oh, damn. I'm trying to connect to the wrong things here. I think we just have to run it. it. Feels bad though. Yeah, let's just run it. And get it out of the way. I could maybe hit that bounce. It's a it's a hard one to say though. These pallets are just so damn safe. Maybe hit here. Damn, I messed up. I didn't think she continued to go straight. Tinker going off. We need to leave this chase. That's fine. We can definitely get up there. I think both survivors are going to be working on it, so this is good. Eh, not what I wanted to do, but that's alright. We're going to go ahead. We're just going to hook her, get her out of the game. We need a survivor out, so say the best for last really didn't come through. Uh, it might be better to actually run something more along the lines of uh, Ruin in this scenario, if you want some more slowdown or potential. Yeah, I noticed that she had left, but we had to come here anyways. Okay. She wants to lead us back over here, that's fine. We're going to come back right around here, because I think the other survivor might have swapped her. Nope. Good. Just a matter of finding Claudette real quick. There's Claudette. I want to clip that just like that, yeah. Then we can get right back into the chase real quick. Nice. Get ourselves a pickup. And this should be her second hook? It might be her third. If it's her second, we're golden. Okay. That's fine. I'm just going to hit this. She's going to pop that, Jen. So it don't matter either way. Oh, wait, we see scratch marks. Wonder why you're doing that. Oh, maybe he doesn't hear us. That could be an option. Hey, what's up? Went up the stairs. And this is going to be the last chase of the game, so it's going to be good. Not much I can do here, so we're just going to go ahead and eat it. Get a little better about this. Here we go. Again, safe loop. No point in mind gaming it. You're not going to mind game it. You're just going to follow it. Just break out of it. She's just watching. You can't make those turns as blight without some crazy J flicking. And that's an exploit, so we don't do it. She drops it. Oh. She, she thought I was going to respect that one. It was a nice try, though. I almost did. And we're going to end this game with a nice little 4K. Hell yeah. This was actually a really scary map to be put on for this. But we managed to pull it out. So it feels good, man. And we will take the dub. That was overall a really close game. Everyone here played pretty well. Uh, we just happened to really pull it off. We took a little too long in the first chase. And I think we maybe tried for too many like ru lethal rushes. 
Um, especially with some of those loops just being so safe, we wasted time there. So if you're maybe looking at it from how could you do this better, I would definitely look at maybe if you're wasting too much time with your power like I did here. But other than that, that's today's build. I hope you all enjoy it. Let me know what you think about it in your games. And until next time, I'm Red. And I'm signing off. Come on.